This is going to be part three in the last part of our mysterious low power, and we're going to take a look at what was wrong. So let's get going and see what happened. Okay, it's important to remember that there is a relationship between the actual pressure numbers and the signal voltages that tell the ECM to display us those values. So in this case, the DPF differential pressure is 0.05 and signal vo voltage is 0.69. Now these are all five volt feed sensors, so the maximum signal voltage that can go back to the ECM is about 4.5 to 4.65 volts. Now we're going to explore the relationship between the voltages and their pressures. So DPF outlet inches of mercury pressure is the back pressure from the SCR brick or exhaust to the atmosphere against the outlet of the diesel particulate filter. So we've got 4.16 inches of mercury and our DPF outlet voltage is 2.25. Remember I said that the voltage can go to a maximum of about 4.65. So we're at 2.25 and we've got 4.16 inches of back pressure. Now, I know that that's uh, a little more than above average for what that should be at idle. As soon as the engine went up to 1700 RPM, if you notice, the DPF outlet pressure jumped to 10.4 and the signal voltage was at 4.56. So that was maxed out signal voltage and that's the most pressure it can read. This is that signal pressure on a graph. See the pressure just above 10 inches of mercury, 10's over on the left there towards the top. That red line where it flatlined, that's the max the sensor can read. The pressure could have been higher than that. The blue line is the restriction across the diesel particulate filter. That's just fine. When I started uh, this test, all the faults were erased. And right here, a fault went active. And the fault was that the DPF outlet voltage was erratic. When that fault went active, the pressure dropped from 10.4 on the second column to 1.52. So the ECM threw in an erroneous outlet pressure number. And unfortunately, that number is a pretty normal number when everything's really in good shape. So what I missed all along was I wasn't looking at the DPF outlet signal voltage because I rarely do look at voltages. And what we all missed was we didn't know that when this fault went active, the, the uh, ECM would drop the outlet pressure to 1.51. It turns out it was well over 25 inches of mercury, which is out the roof for, for being completely plugged. So the SCR brick was plugged. We didn't know it because we got some bad information here but the signal voltage finally led us to what was really going on. Thanks for joining me at Neural Splendor.